So we've decided on what our art goals are going to be for the new year. The next step is to come up with a system to help us accomplish those goals. I'm going to show you how I do it using an awesome free program that you can get called Trello. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome mad creators to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And when I approach these kind of things, I always like to plan it out. And one of my favorite ways to do that, or with any task, is using the program Trello. Trello is free, you can get like deluxe versions and things like that, and it's a pretty robust program. There's tons of stuff you can do with it. I'm not going to touch on everything. I'm just going to show you kind of my system and there's people can use all different there's so many different ways to use Trello this is just my way so I'm hoping this is going to benefit you in achieving your own art goals well I mean this this will work for any goals I know a lot of people that watch this are artists so I'm going to concentrate on some of my art goals I might throw in a few personal things but you can use Trello for just about anything really awesome program this is how I use Trello and uh, we'll show you right here we're going to go to Trello and uh, I'll show you how it works. All right, so this is Trello. Now, this video is an update. I did a Trello video a while back, uh, but since then I've started using it in some different ways that I thought, uh, I thought maybe this is in need of an update. And one of the big things I'm gonna do is show you how I'm introducing a calendar. Um, but we'll get into that in a minute. So Trello, if you wanna know what Trello is, it's a task management application. It's available on desktop and mobile. And it's, it's pretty awesome. I, I, right now I'm using the desktop version, but the, I also use the mobile version. It's great when I'm out and about, if I'm working remotely or whatever, I can just go on my phone and I can do pretty much everything that you'll be able to see here in the desktop version. Now I use Trello as a to-do list. And I've heard a lot of highly successful people say that to-do lists don't work, um, that you know people only accomplish at the most 50% of what they put on a to-do list. That hasn't been my personal experience. I guess I could see that. I, I tend to do pretty well with to-do lists, but what, what most of these experts say is that instead of a to-do list, you need to set up, a, you need to work from a calendar. And fortunately, uh, there is a way to integrate a calendar in Trello. And that's not something I've used before. Now, just because I've used Trello as a to-do list and I've been successful with it as far as reaching my goal, I thought, well, why not give the calendar a shot as well and maybe I'll be even more successful. So that's one of the main things that I'm going to do this time is integrate a calendar and I'll kind of show you how to do that. So let's dive into Trello. Now, first of all, I just kind of want to make, make the caveat that this is how I use Trello. I kind of figured out my own way and that's probably, I mean, I would go and look at what I do or maybe other people and then kind of figure out your own, what works best for you. This is, this is the system that works for me. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Maybe it'll work for you. I don't know. Or maybe you can change it and alter it just so it, you know, it's custom to however your workflow is and, and kind of what, what works best for you as far as achieving your goal. So right now what we have is this is my desktop. All right. This is the first thing you're going to see. Now, when you first log on to Trello, you're probably not going to see all these little boards here. This is the main thing. So each of these are separate boards and I'll kind of show you what they, what they do. So right now, if you go to this little plus thing, this is where you can create boards and create a team and create a business team. Um, right now, I'm just doing this as a personal project. I do have some boards that, uh, that, that are team boards, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're just going to, right now, we're just going to create a board. Um, so let's see, create a board. So I'm going to create a title for this board. Now, let's say, you know, I want to create a separate board just for my comic book project. So I'm going to call this comics. All right, so we've got comics board. Uh, I am going to pick a color. I tend to like green. Uh, you know, it kind of matches the lab coat. So I'm going to create this board. And now I've got a comic board. Now, if we go back here, this see this little home icon here? This will take us back to where we are. So now you can see we have a comic board up here in the desktop. Now, I'm going to go through this real quickly. I'm not going to show you the basics, but if you want to know, if, you, if you're just starting off with Trello, you can go here to this little this little um, information icon and it'll give you little tips and things and you know tutorials and everything and there's a tour there you can take so you can learn some of the basics 
Also right here is a bell with your notifications. And then up here is your profile. You can change your profile picture and do all that kind of stuff. Um, again, you can learn all of that from the little information uh, button up there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you kind of my workflow, how I work with Trello. Now I've created sort of a three tier system. Trello can do a lot. Unfortunately, some of the things that Trello does, you need something called power ups or, you know, and, and what these are, are ways to kind of boost the productivity and, and kind of uh, let you do more with Trello. Unfortunately, with the free version, you can only have one power up. Um, but I found a way to make it work for me just with this free version. So I'm gonna start off now, I've got these three boards. We're gonna not pay attention to this comic board that I just created, but I've got a weekly to do. I've got goals for 2019 and projects. Now these are my three boards that I use. Um, the main, the high tier board, the top tier that I'm gonna use is this one that I created called Goals 2019. So I've opened up my board for goals for 2019 and this is the way I've laid it out. I've got goals for today, goals for the week, goals for the month, goals for the year, and that's this is CircWorks, which is my company, and then goals for the year personal. Then I've got another, and what these are, are these are our lists, all right? So each one of these is a list, and within these lists we have these cards. But as far as the list, I also have this recurring tasks, and wish list, and then a board called complete, or not a board, but a list called complete. And then if I wanna add another, board, say if, again, if I wanted to create a board just for comics, or a list for comics, I can do that. And the cool thing is we can move these around any way we want, all right? And we can also archive this, which is gonna get that out of there, okay? All right, so let me kind of show you the way I've laid out my list. So for goals for today and goals for the week, I really don't do anything with these they probably don't need to be there I just put a little note that says see weekly to-do list on both of these um, because the way I'm structuring this I'm using three separate boards now boards don't always communicate with each other um, but there are things you can do to kind of make them work um, so anyway I do I, I do use goals for the month because as you see once we get into my weekly weekly calendar you're not going to see uh, the whole month view so I've got that here but the main thing on this board that I'm concerned with at least right now because we're talking about my art goal not so much my personal stuff is uh, the list for CircWorks, my company. Um, now, what I've done is you can create these labels now this is just something I do so if I want to create if I want to create a label Say I want to give a label to this 100's anthology project that I'm doing. I'm going to click on this. Here you can see edit labels. Now these are the labels that you see that I've already created. Uh, show more labels. Okay, so it, the list goes longer. But if I wanted to make this a priority, I've already created this. So I can click on that and that will make a priority. I've created a new label. Now if I want to create a brand new label, that was one that already existed, I can, I can create, say the, the person running this project said, we gotta, we gotta stop this right now, we're gonna put it on hold. So what I'll do is I'll go, I'll type on hold here. Oop. All right, so we got on hold, and then I'm gonna sign it a color, and then create, and then that's gonna show up right there. Um, so, but I don't want that, so I'm gonna click this off of here because that is definitely an active project. All right, so now what I've done here, uh, just to help me organize, and this is something I've done, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone else do this, but um, I've created these little tabs. I, I guess they're, I call them tabs. Basically, all it is is a card with, the, with a label to it, just the label. Now, you can't put just a label, you have to put type. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a little dash here just to, you know. But, I can also, I could put, I could label each one of these projects. I could put a label on each one of these particular cards that is a project. But to me, that's going to get very cluttered. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just creating one card here and then under that card. And you can move, this cool thing is we can move these things around. If I wanted to move something over here, that's the awesome thing about Trello. You just pick and drag these things wherever you want. All right, so under, I've got projects, and then I've got command center, which is sort of an extension of the underground layer that I'm, I'm kind of building. 
um, the anthology project, that's a comic book project, digital projects, websites, newsletters, uh, Kickstarter project, Instagram, Patreon, a uh, new triptych print that I'm going to be working on, Phoenix Fan Fusion, that is a comic convention coming up. Well, it's not soon, but, uh, and then a print run that I need to run through the printer. Um, so that's all under my projects. Then I've got a separate one for YouTube, and these are some of the YouTube projects. Uh, these are things on the back burner, things that I want to get to, but I, they're not a priority yet. I've got my client projects, I've got career goals, I've got professional development, uh, skill building, so all that stuff here. Now, within each one of these cards, uh, you can go deeper into them. So I'm going to go down to career goals. Now, one of, one of my goals for this year is to grow my mailing list by a thousand subs. Now, I just started the mailing list. It's going pretty good, but I really, I want to, I want to grow this thing. So, um, so, you know, how do you do that? How do you, how do you, you can say, oh, I want to, I want a thousand subs by the end of the year, but if you don't have any kind of actionable steps to do that, it's not going to be very helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, oh, Okay, we're going to click on the card, not the edit. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you here, I've created a checklist. Now, you can create more than one checklist. So I've got my one checklist here. If I wanted to create another checklist, this is how you do it. You just click on checklist. I'm going to make this checklist too, all right? And I'm going to add, and it's going to put it down here, and I can start adding things to it. But we're going to work with this original checklist. I just wanted to show you how to create one. Okay, so under my checklist, I've got deliver awesome free content on newsletter, work starter kit materials into, a, into videos organically, create starter kit tour video, ask people to share the work they've created using starter kit with, circ, with hashtag CircWorks, feature people using the starter kit, get testimonials from people who are using the starter kit, advertise, you know, and so on and so forth. So anyway, so these are all my tasks that I'm going to use to hopefully aid in, in me reaching that goal. Now, say if I've already, you know, this is kind of a weird task because this is something I'm doing constantly. It's not something I can really check off. But just say I've delivered some fantastic free, free content for the newsletter. Um, I can click on this and you can see the little checklist. It'll go. Now, if I, if I, if, if I keep doing this, it's going to fill up all these little tasks until I have it complete. Now, if I close this out, we're going to go here. Where are we? Uh, it's going to show right here, four out of eight on my checklist. This little icon here, that's my checklist. That's going to show that, I've, that I'm halfway through with the things on my checklist. But I'm going to go back here because I haven't actually done that. Or there are things that are continual. So I'm going to click off of that. With Trello we can do a lot of things. One of the things that we can do is we can add a calendar and that's the main thing that I'm trying to implement in 2019. So right now I've already created a calendar for this board. You can see I can just click on this right here and click once again to go off of it um, and I'll go into there in a minute. But uh, I don't have a lot of uh, time sensitive thing on, on this particular board because the board that I use under it and like I said I'm using sort of this three tiered system. Um, that's the one that has most of the due dates. But here's one here that does have a due date. So it, it says, take down Christmas decorations. All right, so January 1st. So by January 1st, I want to take down my Christmas decorations. Um, and as we can see, if we go here in the calendar, right here, it, it pops it right in there, all right? Now, like I said, this isn't exactly, this isn't the board that I'm using all that for because unfortunately, like I mentioned before, you can only use one power-up on the free system and my power-up I'm using for a calendar. Um, there's also ways to, to kind of connect your different boards um, but in order to do that, I have to get more power-ups and I have to go with the paid version. So. So I'm not using this for my due dates and things like that, but I want to show you how to create a calendar and some other things. So here we can see where it says show, win show menu. We're going to click on that. All right. And we can do different things like change the background color and filter cards. And like, these are cool too, like stickers say you can put little stickers just for fun. Um, so like, here's my, if I wanted to take this and put it on vacuuming, this is the, you know, <laughs> Because vacuuming is not fun, so I can put that on there. Okay, so power-ups. So, so this will tell me I can only unlock one power-up at a time. Right now I've got my calendar, but this is where you go to add a calendar. Let's, let's do this. Let's go back to our boards. Or I'm going to go back home. And remember this comic one we created? This doesn't have a power-up added to it yet. So we're going to go and we're going to do a power-up. And for this, if you want to add the calendar, what you're going to go down here and find the calendar, 
and then we're going to add that and now that is one of my power-ups all right so that's how you add a calendar you can also integrate it with Google calendars um, there I think there are some ways to, around using your other power-ups to do that um, but we're not going to get that deep into that right now so we're going to go back to my dashboard here um, we're going to go back to the goals for 2019 like I said this is this is my you know top tier down there's three tiers so once they start actually now that I've got all my goals and I know what they are and this is where I keep track of pretty much all my goals um, now I want to get a little deeper so you can you can go deep and create you know create your checklist and everything in here but I say for like um, say for these things here like the anthology project or whatever maybe I want to go deeper on that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here to this home button go to my dashboard and then I have a projects so all those things that were there before now they're in separate projects so here's my whole 100 anthology there's a whole board just for that with all these different cards um, then my newsletter my website YouTube all that kind of stuff so this is where I can break it down a little more so as you can see I've created this one says done I created a, a, a little label here that says done because I've already submitted my outline for this particular project but here I've got all my due dates see this little clock here I've created due dates uh, for each one of these and you do that right here with the due date so if I wanted to change that due date I can do that here and just click save but as you can see now if I go to my calendar and this calendar is separate from the other one because like I said you can't integrate calendars unless you use another power up or you or there might be other ways to do it but but for right now I'm this is the main calendar that I'm going to use and if you can look here you see all this stuff here uh, okay now that's pretty awesome there is one way and I'm gonna go go back here to the home if you want to see a list and there is a way without using your other power up to see all your tasks in one place if we go here to the right now we're in the boards if we go to the home um, here we can see what's up next and this will just kind of give me a list of all the different things that are coming up that I need to pay attention to so I'm going to open this up I'm going to go show more now you can see remember that Christmas light one uh, that was on one board but now I can show and I can keep open these up and I can keep looking if I want to do this view and I can see all the stuff coming up all right so we're going to go back up here um, now I'm going back to my uh, what, 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 here we go oh yeah the projects all right so here are all my different tasks and everything so if I finish one of these things like I did here I can put done um, you can do that like if you want to see everything that you've you're done sometimes it's helpful to see all that stuff but if you want it out of sight out of mind um, what I've done is on almost all my boards I have something here another right here you can see there's another board called done and what I can do is I can just take that and just drag it over here and then drop it right in there and so and then if I want to get rid of these I can go here and I can archive I can either get rid of this whole list or I can just archive the cards that are in that list and that will get rid of those and it'll start fresh all right so now you can see how we've got a little deeper right here in my projects board Another cool thing you can do with Trello is you can add attachments. So on this comic book project that I've got here, the 100s Anthology, um, I've got a link right here to the Facebook page. I'll open that up. There's, see, there's a link right here. Um, and that, if I have any questions, that'll take me right to the Facebook page. Also, it's got the image there. Um, but let me show you this. If I wanted to, we're going to go back to my boards. We're going to go back to that main board that we showed you before, my, my goal board. This is the top board. Um, so these are my goals. So maybe I want, under this projects uh, card, maybe I want some sort of inspiration. All right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to go here. I found this quote. Uh, it's sort of ironic because it's an inspirational quote, but it says, amateurs look for inspiration. The rest of us get up and do the work. So anyway, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this image address. Then I'm going to go back to my board and then I'm going to open this card up. And then right here where it says archive, not archive, sorry, attachment. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to paste that in there and then I'm just going to attach it. 
Now that's going to pop up here. Now I've got that cool inspiration and that's going to pop up right there. So if you want to, you know, decorate your boards, you can do all that kind of stuff, but that's nice just to have some, when you come here and look, you've got your ironic inspiration is <laughs> for amateurs inspiration. All right. So anyway, so that's just kind of a cool feature I wanted to show you. We're going to drill down. We're going to see the last board that I was alluding to. So we're going to go back here. And this is my weekly to-do list. Now, this is pretty simple. So I've created uh, lists for each day of the week. I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then, of course, I've got, and I've got some other things, too. Um, I've got general to-dos. I've got someday. These are just things that I hope to get to. So if... You know, if there's not a lot that I have to do one week, I'll just go here and find out, oh, I got to I got to do this. So uh, those are some things that I need to get to. And then, of course, my done list. And there's a lot of things I probably need to archive some of this stuff. But sometimes it gives me a sense of accomplishment to see all the stuff that I've done. So but I will get rid of that. And again, we can also add little labels to things that are done here. So as you can see, as I'm recording this, it's Sunday, and right here I've got my priority tab, priority tab for 2019 goals video, which I just finished. So I can either go ahead and I can um, edit a label, I can make a done label for that, or I can just go ahead and I can... All right, now here's another one, Trello video. That's what I'm working on right now. So after I finish this video, then I can kind of move that thing away. I'm going to show you the calendar. So we're going to open the calendar. We can see all these. Now, remember before when I said that the calendars don't integrate between the different boards, but there is a way to kind of work around that. Um, and I'm going to show you that. So we're going to go back up to this middle board. So remember, so first I've got my goals, that's my top tier. And then my middle tier is my projects where we go a little deeper. And I'm going to show you how you can get some of these tasks that are on your cards to show up on multiple calendars. Let's have a look at my newsletter uh, list right here. So this, these are some of the tasks. They've all got dates, due dates on them right here, except for this last one that says batch record uh, videos seven through 12. So uh, basically what this is, is for my newsletter, I also include an exclusive video. And my idea is to kind of try to create a number of these at once. So I've kind of got them in the can so that I can attach them. So I'm not like getting ready to send out a newsletter. I'm like, oh, I need to record that video. I want to kind of get those, you know, just product for productivity's sake. So on this, I've already got a due date for one through six. So I wasn't really worried about seven through 12, the video seven through 12, because you know, one through six will give me six months. <laughs> so anyway, um, but if I wanted to add a due date to that, I'll just go ahead and open this card up. We're going to add a due date. I'm going to click on this. And let's say I want to complete this by, uh, let's just say February 29th, the end of February. All right, we're going to save that. So now I've got my due date, and if we click back on, we can see that now there is a due date here, okay? Now, this is only going to show up on this calendar right here, the, the one for my projects board. We're going to close that out. But if I want it to also show up on my weekly tasks, what I can do is do this. Let's say we want to do this by January 2nd, okay? I saved it, okay. All right, so... So January 2nd, all right? So that, that would be this, this week. So that makes a little more sense, all right? So if I want to get this to show up on my other board, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open this, this uh, card up, and then I'm going to go to Copy. And then here, here's the title of, of the card. And then I can put it to any board I want. Right now it's Projects, which is this board. But if I want to, I can go to my weekly to-do list and then see it says it's going to save it to Monday and if I decide you know I want to get a head start on that and you know I could put Sunday or whatever we're going to leave it Monday and you can even change the position you want to put this and there's a number of ways to different change that like I said we can just move these things around once we get there but I'm going to create this card right now and that's going to save it to my other that's going to save it to my weekly to-do list so we're going to go back here to the weekly to-do list Right now we're back at my weekly to-do list uh, board, and as we can see, Monday 
is right here. But that's kind of weird because it's, well, it's due January 2nd. I can get it done Monday, but maybe I don't want it to be there. So I can kind of move, say if I wanted to move it over towards Wednesday, which I believe is January 22nd. I don't know. But maybe this is a priority, so I'm going to move it up here, and then I can go ahead and uh, add a label. I want to make that a priority. So there we go. And now, watch what happens. If we go to this calendar, here it is right here. So that's a way that we can integrate those. You kind of you have to go to the other calendar and copy it. Now I've just scratched the surface on all the many things that you can do with Trello. Again, this is just a system that I came up with myself. You may look at this, and if you're familiar with Trello, you may like, well, why is he doing that? It's better to do this, and you may have a better system than me. Uh, but this does work for me, and I'm always looking to improve. So if you guys have some other ideas or different things that you do uh, that you think may work into my workflow, please let me know. Um, otherwise, you know, I kind of know I went through this maybe a little fast, but you can kind of rewind the video or just dive deeper uh, or if you have questions if I was if I didn't make something clear let me know in the comment section and I will get back to you and I'll I'll let you know kind of what I was talking about but again this thing can do all kinds of things and if we were to upgrade to the pro version we could we could do so much more but even with this free version I can get a lot done it really helps with my productivity and I really I just love this app I use it daily I've been using it for you know three or four years and it hasn't let me down so hopefully it will work just as well for you okay that's my system for using Trello to achieve my artistic goals I've been using Trello for a while and I'm really happy to now integrate sort of this calendar system so I'm always trying to figure out new ways to take advantage of this awesome program because it does so many things and everything that I did in this particular video is just you can do that all with the free version now there are like power-ups and upgrades and all kinds of other things that you can integrate I mean the possibilities are pretty endless depending on how much you want to get into that but this system works for me hopefully this system or a variation of this system will work for you but give it a shot and let me know you know if you have any questions or let me know how you use Trello or whatever programs you do use to sort of achieve your goals and uh, I will see you guys later that is is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at Circworks on social media. Do you like making comics? Then go to Circworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.